In today's video, I'm going to show you how to map your DualSense touchpad controls to the buttons of the Legion Go, so that way you don't have to constantly take your fingers off the controller and uh, get those greasy paws all over the screen just to see which way the wind blows in a game like Ghost of Tsushima. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Legion Space and head on over to the button mapping section where we're going to click on the View Edit Layout. And from there, we're going to switch over to the back side of the controllers. And you can see here we have the bottom button on the left side marked as control. And on the right side, we have the button on the right side marked as B. And then the button on the left side marked as U. I also have my other button uh, mapped to the uh, left uh, L3 click. So that's just a personal preference. And of course, you can customize this however you like. Now that we've got that done, we're going to need to update some settings in our PX Play app so that way these buttons will now work once we start a remote play session. So we're going to go into PX Play, go to settings, and what we want here is keyboard. We're going to go to keyboard. And once we get on here, we're going to go ahead and scroll down and basically put in those things that we just mapped to those back buttons. So the first one we're going to do is the PlayStation button. We're going to set that as control. And uh, the next one we're going to do is the uh, touchpad, which we're going to mark that one as B. And then our touchpad swipe up, I've got that set to U. Now you can also do different inputs for um, swipe left, swipe down, but in this particular game that I'm playing, uh, Ghost of Yote, I'm really just concerned about the swipe up since you do it so often in the game. So let's go ahead and jump into a remote play session. I'm in uh, Ghost of Yote here. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in and you can see right away, I'm going to press this uh, bottom back button and the uh, PlayStation menu pops right up for me. So that's great. Great to have that. I'm pressing the uh, closest to the side button on the back, on the right hand side for the wind and the further one underneath for the, to bring up the map. So yeah, so this works really great. Um, so this way you don't have to constantly touch the screen. Um, this is, you know, if you were uh, without having these mapped this way, you're going to be doing this where you have to take your finger off the screen and swipe up, swipe down, swipe left. And if you're like me, I just really don't like getting my fingers all over the screen, getting fingerprints on everything. Um, I really can't stand that. So it's really nice to have all the extra buttons on the Legion Go to be able to map them. Um, let's go ahead and pull the controller off so you can just actually just see it in action. I'm going to press this button here. Boom. There's the PlayStation button on off. Perfect. Works great. Um, same thing on the other side. Um, we've got the button for the win there, and I double-clicked it so it jumped into the map. Um, but if you just want the single press button map, there you go, that one. And then the wind is going to be uh, the, the one closest to the edge here. So you just press that, boom. That's basically just doing your swipe up on the touchpad. So it's just really nice. It's nice to be able to play PlayStation Remote Play and not have to um, get fingerprints all over the screen, and you still have be able to have like quick access to your friends list, stuff like that with the PlayStation button. So um, this is just a really great way to kind of customize your PlayStation remote play experience on the Legion Go. So that way it's uh, maybe even better than playing on the PlayStation portal with the exception of the uh, haptics, I would say. So yeah, everything is uh, working great here. So um, hey, if these kind of videos help you guys out, uh, please uh, drop a like, uh, leave me a comment down below, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions about how to map these controls or you're having any issues um, with your Legion Go or getting the mapping to work right in PX Play, drop a comment down below. I'll do my best to uh, see what's going on there and try to uh, answer that for you. Um, so, hey, that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.